All right, folks, Sean McGraw of American Veteran Air Condition. Um, if you haven't subscribed to us, please subscribe to our channel and uh, you know, that way you can follow through. We can know if we're hitting the right stuff. If you have some stuff that you'd like us to touch on to kind of clarify some things for you, uh, please let us know. If we miss something, you know, respectfully, please let us know as well. We don't want to give out false or inaccurate information out there. Uh, today we're going to start off with uh, flame rectification which has often been misconceived of how this furnace is actually recognizing that a flame is going on inside the burner box here. Uh, before we get started, we do want to clarify one thing is everything inside of here has the potential to kill you. So you need to be careful and not only will it kill you, it will hurt you really bad the whole time it's doing that. So we got that out of the way. It's dangerous in here. So you, you know, folk, practice safe practices, y'all. <clears throat> and if you don't know what you're doing, stay out of it. Uh, flame rectification, that's what this flame sensor works off of. That also often gets mis- uh, or convoluted with, the, with older furnaces with standing pilots that used a thermopile or a thermocouple that actually sent a voltage, created a voltage that sent it back to the uh, gas valve to let it know that it was running. That's not how this works. This works off of flame rectification. So let's clarify that a little bit. All right, so we're getting 120 volts to this control board right here. When this furnace is operating, it is sending voltage to the flame sensor. The flame sensor is not sending voltage back to the control board. That's not how this works. So we are getting between, usually between 40 and 90 volts AC running through uh, wire off the uh, furnace control board. This one's coming through a Molex plug right here and back up to the flame sensor. Uh, usually between 40 and 90 volts AC, sometimes up to about 103 volts AC, depends on the control board. All right, so let's clarify that. That means that while this furnace is operating, you have AC voltage coming off up to this flame sensor right here. It's all connected. So if you touch it, while it's operating, you're going to get hit. Simple as that. All right, so what is flame rectification going on here? What are we doing? When this furnace operates, we're pulling, we're pushing, not pulling. The control board is putting out the AC voltage. It's coming up to the flame sensor right up here. As this flame sits inside of the, the, uh, the as this flame, as this sensor sits inside the flame, it's rectifying the voltage. And what happens at that point is it will produce a DC voltage that's measured, measured in microamps. And what happens is that microamps, the flame is literally making that contact to the grounding box, to your burner box as that flame is running. And those microamps are picked up from the furnace control board and lets it know that that flame is running and it's okay to continue operating. That's how this operates. So how do we check it? That's the next thing. Now that we know what it's doing or what it's supposed to be doing, how do we figure out what's not working? And that's always an important step that we miss is I find a lot of folks are trying to diagnose something that they have no idea how it's supposed to operate in the first place. Hey, look, if y'all are looking for more tips, we're always looking for your feedback and we want to answer your questions and we will on a regular basis on our YouTube channel. So subscribe right here to our YouTube channel, not here here to our YouTube channel. <laughs> and we'll, we'll try to make sure we take care of all the questions and answer them efficiently for you. Y'all take care, God bless.